Well, at least we freaking got a roof over our head. Uh, I, I just don't miss those days at all. When it fucking rained, it rained inside. Alright, so here's where we're at. Got this uh, Tecumseh motor torn apart. I was talking, the owner came by last night and he said, uh, well, just unbolt it, pop it off, see what happens. So we ended the four bolts and we freaking take a look at the inside. Um, oil was freaking black as black. Hey, you can actually see myself in it. Um, and we found the problem. It was the most craziest thing in the world. How it happened was, I think it might have been a factory defect. Um, you got your little uh, son of a bitch bearing on there. And this bolt right here, that bolt right there came loose. It was just flopping around in there, which was causing it to make that awful knock. Um, I would say when I got it, there was only that much thread left in the uh, left in the block. I mean, left into the uh, connecting rod. So that was something. Um, but it does have some scoring on it, as you guys can see. It's, I mean, it's a little deep, but um, the guy, the guy said, you know what? Just throw it together, and if it gets me through two winters, he'll be happy. If he gets them through one storm, he'll be happy, I guess. Um, so we're gonna. Button this thing back up this morning, get it running, and possibly just bolt it on there. Uh, I'm looking at a Craftsman DLT 3000. Um, it's in Bill Ricca today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. It depends if the guy can, if he wants to do some trading. I don't want to spend, he's asking 150 bucks, um, but I don't want to spend cash. I'd rather trade. He said he's open to anything trades with motors. <laughs> So I said maybe we could just trade them like a, I got the Honda motor right over there, um, stuff like that. So I don't have to wait and see. I mean, I'll even trade them the, that Honda motor too. I'll maybe I'll trade them two Honda motors for the Craftsman DLT 3000. It doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a motor on it. It looks identical to the original DLT 3000 I have. Only thing different is it's a six-speed, not a hydrostack foot drive, and it did have the 20 horsepower Coal Pro V-twin motor in it. But I guess that's not in it no longer. Don't know why. But uh, that's all the information I know about. I'm just waiting for him to respond back to my email. Maybe we can go pick it up. If not, whatever. Um, I also have to go up to Bill Ricca anyway today. That's the only reason why I emailed the guy. I'm going to have to go take a look at a uh, shed job we're going to be building up there. And one of my dad's friends need help with his ride on lawnmower. I guess he's getting some oil or something like that. Uh, leaking is the you know, the overhead valves and there's the hose that come up and I guess it's just puking water up and up and into the air filter so I'll have to take a look at that but uh one guy is on his way to pick up uh, these tires right over here we gotta actually power wash these up real quick make them look good and they'll be out of here 20 bucks so you can't go wrong with that price um that's pretty much about it. And then we got just a bunch of the regular Craftsman tires. So maybe we'll have a tire sale this week. I don't know. I said that last week. I never did it. We also need to have a seat sale. Son of a bitch. Just son of a bitch. We have five seats. There's four right there. Another one up in the loft. Unbelievable. We gotta start. Uh, we gotta start eliminating, boys. We gotta start eliminating. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get to work this morning, and here's where we're at. Alright, guys, figured I should make a video. I haven't done it in a few uh, hours now. Um, just got back from the guy's house, did a quick little work on the mower. Um, so he's all set, good to go now. I was working on this a little earlier, and got the uh, connecting rod all back together. Everything's all set on it. Um, so this thing's pretty much good to go. I just got to finish scraping the old gasket material off and then we get I gotta scrape off all this um, I gotta get the new gasket from Freenas tomorrow and if they don't have it well I guess we'll be using everyone's favorite stuff friggin uh, our TV silicone oh yeah everyone loves that stuff poop a little bit all that around if they don't have it but whatever um, also I'm working on the uh, the uh, dealerships MTD here uh, I've kind of fucked up a little bit yesterday guys when I was testing everything um, I hooked up the red wire first to the uh, magneto wire and guess what happened 
Oh yeah, we pooped out the internals. Gone done bloated up. So I'm just replacing the magneto with one I had kicking around. Um, so I actually while I'm tracing everything over and looked everything over, I pulled apart the other motor just so I could figure out where all my wires were going and stuff and I figured it out pretty good. Turned out that it was yellow wire, um, like everyone kind of sort of was saying, and it goes up and in. Uh, the red wire, which is this one here, that connects into the black one, which kind of had me confused. Um, that one goes down to the carburetor, so, duh. Guess I probably should have looked at that first, but whatever. We'll just freaking set up the uh, magnetos, so that way it's all right, good to go, and hopefully it'll fire up nice. Um, so, should have, should have definitely probably looked into it before I just friggin' decided to hook every wire up to it. But I guess what I can do is I can just, um, I can take this wire here, the red wire that's actually the, uh, carburetor solenoid wire, and I can just actually hook it right up to the starter wire and then give it a little bit more juice, but that's about it. So, yeah. Oops, I guess you guys can say. Oops. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> um, Possibly, uh, maybe next weekend or the weekend after this weekend, uh, I'm gonna head back up to Harbor Freight and I'm gonna get the uh, the powder coat kit. See how that is. I'm gonna powder coat these rims. So I have to wait and see, I guess. See how well that works. But um, I don't know if I can do it on that or not because it's already painted or not. So I guess I'll have to read up on it before I buy it. Um, that's where we're at. So I'm gonna continue continue what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, ah, what a mess. So every now and then, when I get bored, I'll uh, if I'm, yeah, especially when I'm sick, I'll be home and stuff like that. Well, now that I'm graduated, I'm home full time now. So what I ever do, I, every time when I'm sick, when I was a kid, I used to look up uh, you know tricks and stuff like that for small engines and stuff like that. Well, the best tricks I ever got. Was well, this uh, card trick? What you do is you stick your card right into um, right in behind there, and that's your uh, spacing for the uh, magneto. And it is one of the best tricks I've ever used. Um, get a business card or something like that, and put your starter right up to it. Uh, put your magneto right up to it, and it works awesome. Um, obviously, you don't want to use your business card. I'm using friggin'. Uh, competition business card but friggin rates and woo business fake uh I mean not fake uh whatever the fuck you want to call it competition business cards but um it works you know I mean sometimes it works great sometimes it doesn't but every time that I've done it it works excellent and to prove it to friggin prove it you can even fire it up I bet so uh, let's see we'll do a son of a bitch start Ah, oh, love the ether. PJ's on the ether hard. Right. Here we go. There you go. There was the first son of a bitch start with new magneto. Man, we're freaking burning some oil. Can't possibly imagine why. So I had a freaking grind me down some of that rust that was on there but uh yeah works and that's the best way how to set a magneto in my opinion fuck the feel of gauges you can feel me up for all I care friggin right redneck side of me Jamie Johnson that's a good song alright so you guys are probably wondering like what the hell happened? Why is ooh, nice Ford F 350? Friggin' diesel too. Um, you guys are probably wondering why the frig, the mower deck is off this thing now. Well, I probably should have known that it was gonna happen. Um, due to the fact that I had to use the uh, the smaller motor mounts, this, which means the motor got pushed forward. Uh, about three quarters, so like a half inch, um, it threw off all the belts. So I have to get new belts for the mower deck, and I have to get new belts for the drive. Uh, just because they're just so tight, the, the friggin' mower deck spins, and you can't even get the belt really even on the uh, drive. So I, I guess I'll have to go to Easton Bearings tomorrow, and I'll have to pick up uh, 
two new belts. I'll just bring those belts with me, and I can just swap it over uh, to to a half inch to three quarters bigger wise. Um, but this thing's gonna be a nice little tractor for someone. Um, I mean, I personally wouldn't drive. You guys know what I prefer, but. I mean, I, I think Dwayne's looking to get right around 450 for it because he's got the bagger. Um, he's got the he's got the weights for it. Um, so, I mean, it's a good little good little tractor, but not for me. I'll pass. I got my house Um So that's pretty much it for today. It's uh, what time is it? Come on. 507 holy shit um, So it'll definitely bring uh, some value in my pocket. That's for sure um, If we'd even do sell it for uh, 400 it'd be 200 in my pocket two in Dwayne. So that'd be pretty good um, He's undecided about the motor I must see if I could buy it off of him or something um, Just gotta figure out how I'm gonna fix it but uh I mean it's just like pretty much the same thing with friggin that motor right there you know just gotta get winter projects ready um so I don't know well I'll wait and see we got plenty of time I ain't going nowhere so that's the good thing anything else going on in the backyard uh, nothing else new there's one guy interested in the uh the drive on that thing so that was pretty good. Might work on the John Deere towards the end of the week. But um that's about it. We're gonna scrap my corner building back up again. Woohoo. So anyway, I'm pretty much done for the day. So anyway guys, until tomorrow. Keep on choochin' in the free world. Freaking right some woo. Ah, oh, Bill's T Max, everybody. Bill's T Max. We gotta, we gotta hit him up pretty soon. We gotta get some decals on. We need some decals bad. All right. See you guys tomorrow.